Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. So this is Diddy's Daily News. There are reports that they found items. There was another video I did. This one's a little bit more detailed, and it brings up Cassie. And like we said before, Homeland Security raided the LA home, the Miami home, his lawyer states that he has not been charged. He is um, trying to fight for his freedom. Of course, the children being Justin and Christian were in handcuffs, but they weren't allegedly arrest arrested. I think anytime something's going on, you have to be you know, detained, but then they were released and then it's being said that they went back to the house hours later or the next day. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. They went back to the home to retrieve some of their items. So let's get into this video. Let me know in the comments how you feel. We're going to try and stay up to date with the local news. That's a little bit better. Some people are stating wrong comments, so I'm not trying to put the wrong information out there. Um, the Cassie lawsuit was about three, four months ago. And then we have the Rodney Little Rod um, lawsuit that's out there. And now, like I mentioned, Homeland Security has already gone into the home to gather information. Now, whether they have or haven't, this is the local news reporting that they have obtained certain items that they may use in court. So let's listen in. Let me know in the comments where you're chiming in from. Raided the rapper's multi-million dollar homes in Miami and Los Angeles on March 25th. Sources with knowledge told NBC News March 26th that firearms were found at both properties. Allegedly. Additionally, Homeland Security Investigations seized Combs' phones in Miami before he was scheduled to depart for a trip to the Bahamas. While the investigation is still ongoing, a source close to the investigation told NBC News that the raid was connected to allegations of sex trafficking and sexual assault and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. Three women and one man had been interviewed by federal officials in Manhattan in relation to the investigation, the source shared. In a March 25th statement to E! News, Could you imagine you're on alleged vacation with your daughters for spring break and your phone has to be retrieved by Homeland Security? You know what I mean? That interesting. You know, because everybody has everything in their phones. How he gets a hold of his kids. How he sends messages to his kids. What's going on with his kids? Did his kids send a message to him? Hey, Dad, something's going on. Hey, Dad, you know, they're saying, put your hands up. Come on out. You know, they've now got his phone. You know what I mean? So that in itself is interesting. So let's continue. You guys know I have to stop it, play it, stop it, play it. A rep for Homeland Security Investigations said that they had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation and would provide further information as it becomes available. So more One day after the to raids, come. Combs addressed the situation through his attorney, Aaron Dyer, saying in a statement to E! News March 26, yesterday there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There's no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. He noted that it was an unprecedented ambush and that the rapper was not detained. 
He also called the raids a witch hunt, adding that Combs had spoke to and cooperated with authorities. He continued, there has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. E! News has reached out to the Department of Homeland Security for comment on Combs' allegations and has not heard back. The federal inquiry into Diddy's homes also arrives four months after the... So they're going to talk about... Um... Cassie and normally I play music over it. I should have put that on earlier. But yeah, they're going to speak about Cassie generally in regards to what she experienced. Bad Boy Records founder reached a settlement with his ex-girlfriend Cassie over her lawsuit accusing him da, of da, 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 da. Cassie, whose full name is Cassandra Ventura, said in a November 17th statement to NBC News in part, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. Diddy, who denied all of the Me and You singers' allegations, also released a statement following the settlement, saying the former couple, who split in 2018, had decided to resolve the matter amicably.